I'm Leslie Sobel, and I am the daughter of two scientists, sister of another scientist, wife of an engineer. I'm the freak artist in the bunch, and uh, longtime backpacker, hiker, mother of three grown children. So the outdoors and interacting with the outdoors through a lens of science has really been my life since I was very small, which has included things like getting interested in tiny things and, as a kid and being given a microscope. I have been an artist all of my life, and as a kid I made art nonstop, went to undergrad for art school. Then I had a digression into software for about a decade. I ran a software company that was doing biologically inspired computing for a decade, did graduate work in software management, technology management, and that culminated in knowing I wanted to go back to being an artist, and I've been a full-time artist for more than 20 years since that date. I am a painter, printmaker, sculptor, and uh, the specific medium depends a lot on the concept of the piece. It almost always has a relationship with paper. It uh, often is with encaustic. Most of the work the 2D work in this exhibition are encaustic monotypes, so large format painterly prints, and then there's a lot of 3D work as well. If you were gonna pigeonhole me in a genre, you'd probably be thinking sci-art, because there's a relationship with science and with data, and also often partnership with scientists. A lot of this work came out of working with a biochemist who studies water quality and algae overgrowth issues in uh, Lake Erie. This is work that uh, comes out of a lot of aerial imagery, satellite images. It also comes out of photomicrographs, sometimes in the same piece. I'm looking at scale, really big, really, really tiny, how those things interact. Where do we fit in the middle? And so it's map adjacent. There's a lot of writing in some of these, a lot of data, a lot of diagrams, trying to understand what's happening in these watersheds and why you should care. So it, it is definitely concept-driven work, it's science-driven work, and it's also emotion-driven work. I spent a lot of time going to Lake Erie specifically and seeing algae blooms where the water is thick, it's green, it smells, it's got tendrils floating in it. There are dead animals next to it. It's extremely upsetting, but it's also beautiful in a sort of perverse kind of way. So trying to understand what's happening and why you should care about that, because that's the water we all drink. So when you look at this show, you're seeing three related things. There's a chunk of work that's about Toledo area, Lake Erie. There's a chunk of work that's about the Mississippi River and the Mississippi Basin down to the Gulf of Mexico. And most recently, when you're looking at these, I'm looking at the intersection of COVID with environmental issues. And we're in this horrendous pandemic. People are isolated, they're depressed. Some of the same issues that led to climate change, to pollution, to all of those water issues, are issues of poor stewardship that certainly exist in the response to COVID, if not to its existence, but to how, just how disastrous a thing it is. So this piece, Inflection Point, is really about that confluence of climate, of disease, of poverty, of capitalism, and what happens next? We can't just keep going the way we have. The series of small prints, we are all alone together, was very much about our response to COVID and how isolated we all are, and yet we're connected. And the piece Pre-Existing Condition, which is the diptych, is about watershed. There's elements in that map of where are pollution hotspots, which also turn out to be COVID hotspots. So environmental injustice issues and illness and poverty all convene in this unholy combination that's making it that much worse. So for me, a lot of this is about taking mapping, 
taking data, taking ways to visualize data to understand it, but not as a graphic designer, as an artist, trying to find the poetics in it. So I come to this work from a long romance, really, with paper and printmaking, and looking at overlays, layers of things, how do they intersect, and trying to bring disparate elements together and find ways that they connect for me. And some of that's mark making, some of it's a bunch of different tools, some of which are digital, like using satellite imaging, some of which are partnership-based, working with scientists, and some of which are mark making, just exploring what works. But for me, really, the thing is to not be afraid to combine things in a way that a scientist or a graphic designer might never do. But for me, it resonates emotionally, because that that gut punch of it is what really makes it work or not as an artist. So for me, it's following that emotion that really pulls it all together. <laughs>